okay, uh, every now and then, uh, I got to come on this show and 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 do this <laughs> because you know if this guy was doing it uh, for my team or your team in New York City. TJ, or if he's doing it for your team up there in Boston, Chris, yep. or uh, with all due respect to our friends down in Orange County, uh, if he was doing it in Chavez Ravine, if he was doing it for St. Louis, if he was doing it for the Cubs, yep. this is all we would be talking about. Mm-hmm. Shohei Otani, he plies his craft for the Los Angeles Angels, and once again, under the cloak of the Pacific time zone and yet another angel season that just appears to be thrown into the shrug emoji category of like what what gives with this team that has the most potentially, arguably, generationally talented player of this generation and Mike Trout on it. And now Shohei Otani doing things that not even Babe Ruth did. Not even Babe Ruth did. And he's doing things that only Babe Ruth did. And he's doing things that not even Babe Ruth did. This week, a two-home run game in a career-high eight runs batted in against the Royals. Two homers, eight runs batted in. Angels lose the game. That's part of the reason why we're not talking enough about them. Next night. Next night. Night, he starts, he retires 23 of the first 24 batters he faces, throws eight scoreless, and strikes out a career-high 13. So a career-high eight runs batted in on a two-homer game one night. The next night. Let me repeat this. (laughs) The next night. Not a week later. One, week later. one sleep just, just, later. Just went to bed, got up, came to the ballpark. Hours. He takes the mound yeah, yeah. as a starting pitcher, retires 23 of the first 24 professional batters he faces, and strikes out a career-high 13. There's no words for it. Except exceptional, unprecedented, damn. spectacular, yeah, like, damn. Like, yeah, I mean, let's let's <laughs> dig into the crate here. And he's got a deep <laughs> bag of pitches. He's not like a one one note guy yeah, out there on the mound. Basketball curveball, you know what I mean? It's just he's like, just it's insane what yeah. he is doing. No, the uh, Angels won that game, but that's the. This is exactly. Is this the most Angels thing ever? That Trout's back <laughs> and Otani's doing yeah. it now. And they're protecting each other in the lineup in, in certain ways, although it's Otani in front of Trout most nights. And uh, Rendon is out for the year. Yeah. So you spend a ton of money on him, and he's not, he's not doing well. And, uh, I mean, he's, I mean he's, and he's out for the year. And the team itself started out like an ice house of fire, a 14-game losing streak in which Joe Madden gets fired. And Otani comes up with... Eight runs batted in on a two-homer night as a hitter one night, and then a starter the next night with 13 strikeouts, and they split the games. 500. Average. Mediocre. Except <laughs> unprecedented. I don't know how you make heads or tails of it. It's it's wild. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> One of the most impressive things, maybe the most impressive thing in all of baseball's history, 150 years, right? Johnny Vandermeer, back-to-back no-hitters yes, sir. in back-to-back starts. Yes. Okay. Well, we probably will never see that again in our lifetime. I agree. Is what Otani just did the last two games more impressive to you? Wow. Ooh, back-to-back no-hitters. That is, uh, that is, is going to be, you know. But on back-to-back nights where I'm going to grab, nights, I'm gonna grab a bombs, bat, yeah, I'm going to grab a bat, grab a two bat. bombs, and knock in eight, and then it's come so back cool, the awesome. next night. And the next day, cool. I'm going to go take, on the mound the ball and, and dominate. Then, yeah. Strike out 13. Career high. Strike out. I mean, well. Career high one, RBIs two nights ago. Career high strikeouts the next night. Only one other player. I feel like this is like DP's stat of the day. Old gen stat right now? Uh, yeah, do you have old gen stats? Do you got it? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. I think I think 
I haven't heard this in so long. Stats. I haven't heard this in forever. We used to do this all the time. <laughs> we got to get back to it. We got to get back to it. Only one other player in the history of Major League Baseball has had an eight RBI game and a 10 strikeout game in their career. Oh, I know, I think. In their career. Like their entire playing career. Not back to back nights. Just give themselves oh. an entire lifetime of professional baseball play. Lifetime. I don't think you'll know who it is. I mean, uh, Babe Ruth's the only thing that comes yeah. to mind. No, like, Tony Tony you know. Cloninger. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Tony Cloninger. Oh, yeah. That was my next guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's so impressive. Here's a question for you guys. Does Otani stay with the Angels? Oh, oh boy! No, no, out. and that's the whole deal about Otani. Is I think he does. Yeah, I think the the success is born out of the fact that he doesn't have a microphone in his face every two seconds, yeah. like he would in New York or Boston. He's only making five point five million. Oh, that's going to change. <laughs> That'll change. <laughs> 